Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. So today, I came to Akita Prefecture, Japanese countryside. I visited this school, which is Japanese language school, where you can experience Japanese culture and activities. And I'm gonna stay here with students for three days. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's get started. Okay, thank you for your time. Where from? I am, I am from America, New Jersey, Patterson, New Jersey. I am from Poland, from Warsaw. I am half Okinawa and half black, and I was born in Okinawa, and I moved from Tokyo and America all my life. How did you find this school? Actually, the way I found this school, it wasn't overnight. It took me a few months. Actually, I did a lot of research of Japan. I was looking for the right school. Akita Naka kept coming up on YouTube, just little clips there and there. But then I started seeing certain YouTubers did visit the school, and I started um, contacting them and they just, just started confirming with me, you know, the good things that come out of the school, not just language, but cultural. I actually came across it from another YouTuber, Oriental Pearl. She, I watched her videos and she recommended it very much, thought I'd give it a try. On YouTube and I saw Internationally Me and they had this section for Akita and I've never been and I was like, oh, this will be a good place to do my nanka my book and movie and as well as have fun and just study some more even though I don't need it. What's the difference between Japanese language school in Tokyo or let's say normal language school and this Akita Inaka school? Well, the difference, the difference is actually is, is that from what I was seeing on YouTube and actually is that you go to school for four hours, that's it. If the teacher's very cold, doesn't want to get to know you, and it's like, you just better do your work and come back and catch up. Because if you miss a day, you're done. You know what I mean? But here in Akita Naka School is a little different. You get to know your teacher, not just one teacher, several teachers. You actually get to practice with the locals around here too as well. And I'm getting to know also too, they do a lot of activities for cultural Japanese. It was great. Yesterday, we just went to know, we just went to make um, Kiro Tampo, um rice on the stick. It was really good. Maybe the festival together as well, yeah. Yeah, we went to the festival. <laughs> it was, so fun. It was really fun. It was really fun. You get to see a little bit of everything of Japan. I'm talking about hidden gems of Japan where this school actually offers. I'm experiencing the beauty of the nature, like I, everything around me. You know, I'm getting to see the, the mountains, the, even they, they make like rice out here, like the, the fields. I, I'm not used to that. You know, I don't see that back at home. You know, and over here, Yes, it's, it may be a quiet, quieter, it may be down to earth, but you know what? What I loved about this place was everybody's welcoming. And that's what counts for me. Like if I want to talk to people and try my Japanese, they're not going, they're, they're more like, come on, keep trying. Come back there, let's go. Come on, keep going. They push me for it. And I really enjoy that. Mm, so far, it's a really quiet place. All the teachers, they're really nice. Nanka, the Matsuri we have gone to so far, it's very fun. I got to play. Uh, I got to play taiko and in Tokyo, I was on the Tsamaro taiko team, so it was really good to be able to do it again. We went to a lot of festivals, so that was that was really fun. Yeah, it's my could, first time, actually. Because it's August. Yeah, it's August, very summer festival season yeah, here. Yeah. Yesterday we yeah. went to the Kanto festival, oh. and it's really nice because the teachers are pushing us a little to talk with the locals, like to order oh, for yes. us, like to speak to them, to ask them about what they like. Uh, it's it's very interactive. I love that. That's so authentic experience that you never that you never experience in Tokyo. You won't. Yeah. You, won't. you can't run away from interacting here. Japanese people in countryside are nicer than Japanese people in the city, let's say Tokyo, Osaka, or do you think it's there's a differences? Hundred percent. Like in the Inaka, I feel like everyone's more nicer since there's not that many people, and it's more easier with less foreigners than in Tokyo, where there's foreigners almost everywhere but in the countryside there's not many so it's easy to recognize faces. It's very very nice. I was a little bit scared uh, that uh, the local people would be a bit standoffish towards towards foreigners but I'm really really surprised, pleasantly surprised. The people are very nice, the teachers are so helpful and they try to really integrate us with the culture. I like it so far. How's your learning Japanese going process? Uh, I do study Japanese here, but I also study Japanese at home. I am a Warsaw University student and I study Japanese studies. And compared to what I learn in Warsaw and to what I learn here, here it's very much more conversational. We don't only focus on like JPT exams, it's much more natural. So I hope that by the end of this course, I will be able to speak more naturally. Uh, in my home country, focus a little bit more on Keigo, on the polite way of speaking but also on 
the approach to exams like JLPT, we learn a lot of kanji, a lot of grammatical forms, but not really how to speak. We don't really know how to how to interact with other people when we come here, but we know complicated forms. Whereas here, we don't really do much kanji and all that stuff, but we do learn how to actually speak. And I think that's a bit more useful when you come to Japan. My Japanese is very choto, very, I'm still very basic out there. So, you know, I'm still learning. I'm trying to make the connection too as well. So thank goodness I got the hirigana and katakana basics down packed. But I'm getting to know the phrases, the self-introductions, little by little. And we have great teachers too as well at the Akita in Naka School. Maybe some people are going to watch this video and decided to come here. Is there anything, message or is there any advice? Oh, do it. I, I know it can be scary. I know a lot of foreigners are very scared of coming to Japan because they worry about messing up. You will mess up. I have messed up a lot of times. But the rewards are so much more worth it. You will never regret coming here. You definitely will learn. Uh, you definitely will experience. And really, it's... it's <laughs> I can't put it into words. It's something that once you come here, you understand how valuable this will be. Come here. Really, it's super fun. Everyone is nice. Hey, listen, this is a good school. All my Japanese learners out there, this is a good resource, resource to learn from over here. It's a great school, Akita Naka School is number one. And also to make sure you, you, you find out more information because it, it did a lot of great things for me too as well. And thank you, Takashi. Number one YouTuber. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate no it. Man. Thank you. All right. You're the founder of this school, right? right. Can you introduce your background? Where are you from? How long have you been in Japan? Uh, I've been living in Kosaka in Akita for years. Uh, I'm from Australia, but I was born in Poland. Before, uh, I was a student myself, so I was going to different schools in Japan, language schools, and usually in the cities, big cities, because that's where they are located. So and I saw opportunity that there is something really missing in most of the schools. They are pretty much the same, and they, they teach the same way. And as a student, uh, there was something that I want uh, to learn in a natural way. So the main reason was we wanted to uh, create a school where you learn as a student the natural way of conversation, not the book base. Because as you know, you can recognize immediately when someone was studying from the book, how they construct the sentences, how they speak. It's not natural for Japanese people. And most of the school use those books and uh, that's why we don't have books. And the other reason was in the big cities, they are nice for shopping, but actually it's not much about culture uh, part and people are coming to big cities, students, and they think they will make friends, but in fact they don't make many, if any, Japanese friends because they are busy and only friends they're making is friends who wants to practice English with them, so they don't actually practice Japanese. Uh, and in the countryside, it's totally opposite. Uh, everyone is super friendly and happy to stop, everyone has time. They don't speak English, so students are forced to use Japanese anywhere, in Konbini, right. uh, wherever they go, onsen. Because you can learn a language not coming to Japan actually at all. If you're coming, you should, you should take that advantage of learning the culture more, first, maybe more, and then the language natural way, as Japanese people speak, which is very different, depends, definitely different than the books. What kind of people are coming to this school? And what kind of people do you want to come to this school? Well, that's a great question, actually. Uh, nobody asked us before. Uh, the people coming are not focusing on passing any tests. They want to improve conversation. Uh, usually we have from 15 to 70 years old. We are getting actually a lot of students over 40, 50 years old. They are coming because they would not be able to join any other school uh, in Japan. For the families, it's actually, uh, we didn't know, it became very popular because families are not able to join any school in Japan as a family. It's either for the kids and not for the parents. So many families, they would like to go to Japan together and learn language and actually do this in a countryside because they've been to big cities many times and it's very limited what you can experience in the city. Right. So they are coming with kids and they are super happy and because they can relax, learn language, learn culture and do many things that they cannot do in the big city. 
Some people come to this school, they stay in Japan with tourist visa for a couple of months, and one month is like Tokyo, and one month here, countryside. Because uh, cool. you can see opposite side of Japan, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I, yeah, I, I think I would do that if I was foreigner, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, those are lucky students that have enough time to do both, yeah. because most, usually students don't have time. But most of our students, they before coming, they stay in Tokyo like a few days or a week, and after also go to the bigger city. And uh, yes, they have very different experience after coming here. Because before coming, everyone has some image about countryside and expectations. But after coming and living, it's very different. Yeah. Something they would not imagine or expect in a very positive way. Yeah. Well, I would recommend countryside, whether it's our school or if you can find any place in Japan that is countryside, it is much well, I don't want to say better, but that's the feedback from students. And that's why me and the staff actually moved from Tokyo and big city to the countryside. I think it's the best experience for myself. I was coming to Japan, well, I would say tens of times, uh, if not hundreds before. And the time when I came to the countryside was the best time actually in Japan for me. And we, we would like to share this with anyone who would like to experience something different then just busy city and then shopping every day. Okay, so you guys are teaching Japanese in this school yeah. as a Japanese person. Hi. Uh, I'm from Akita and I'm from the next city from here. Mm -hmm. So I was just interested in teaching. So I teach Japanese here as teacher. And? Well, I'm from Ibaraki. Uh, my university is in Akita city and I got a chance to teach Japanese as undergrad student. So I took the chance and I started teaching Japanese from last summer. Hmm. How did you guys speak English? Like, how did you learn? <laughs> like, did you guys study abroad or? Yes, I did. And where, where did you go? To New Zealand, New for Zealand. a year, for a year. And? and I went to Canada for one year. Hmm. Is there anything you want to say to the people who's watching this video? If you want to experience the life in Japan, then maybe this school is the good one. I think. Why, why do you think so? Because you can immerse yourself in the life in Japan. You can go shopping, you can talk with locals. Good chance. <laughs> uh, if you want a countryside life, uh, Kosaka town is very beautiful and people are so nice. So it's the best place to come and study Japanese. Akita Prefecture? This is my first time visiting here. Uh, it's obviously it's totally different from like other cities like Tokyo and Osaka and stuff. Why people should visit here? Slow yeah. Slow life, <laughs> surely. Mm -hmm. Slow life. Hi. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you like nature, mm -hmm. this is the best place mm -hmm. to study and live. You guys are gonna live in Akita for long? Yeah, you think I'm so? From Akita, so oh. I stay here forever. I think. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. It's in interesting because many people in Japanese countryside they live here for their life but most of them haven't been abroad or you know haven't lived in another city but you guys study abroad and you know other cultures but you still you like Akita that's why you stay here yeah I had enough in city so <laughs> Akita is good now for me after I graduate from graduate school I'm applying for another master program mm -hmm. in the Northern America uh, that's because I want to teach Japanese at universities abroad. Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Thank welcome, you, thank guys. you. So this is this is the share house here, guys. Um, for here. guys, for guys. For the fellas, right? For only for the fellas here. So, <laughs> so right now, yeah. see, we just finished shopping over here. So this is where the magic happens, right? The kitchen. So anybody gets hungry, we cook right over here. You read it. And all the goods go in the refrigerator too as well. So basically what we do here is we go to school. Basically what we do is we go to school in the morning, we come back, you know, and then we do what we have to do, either cook, either study, either, and then, or just catch up what we need to do in our personal lives. Even call back our families. Of course, families, you know, miss us as well. What, what's your Daily schedule, right? Daily like from what time to what time school? Oh, yeah. from basically we wake up, we wake up, it depends, 6 to 8, and then school starts at 9, 10, all the way to 12, 30. Then we have a lunch break to like, I think, 1, 30, right, guys? 1, yeah, 30? Yeah. At 1, 30? Yeah, we go like take a bike ride or go study. 
Oh, we're gonna study. We just found a cafe recently, and then um, so we're gonna actually have the festival today. There's a cafe there, and that um, it's really cool. They have coffee, some you know desserts, and and then we get to really study there, get our downtime there as well, you know. Yeah. And if not, we're cooking here. So how many how many people stay in this house? Um, um, five. Five. It's uh, it's, yeah. it's 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 look, it's really spacious. It's it's only yeah. enough for five people, right? Yeah. yeah. There's upstairs. They have actually two rooms. And then down here they have um, three, three, bedrooms. three bedrooms. So you guys have your own privacy as well. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's cool. That's and they keep it real. When you sign up, when you sign up for the school, you have a choice. You can either pay a lesser amount and yeah. share a room with someone, or you can pay more for a private room. Yeah. So we all paid more for a private room. Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. Yes. So that's that's this is our daily life over here. I keep it not as cool. A share house is over here. Okay, thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was interesting. If you're interested in this, this school, please check the link in the description. Okay, anyway, I really love traveling Japan for the filming. You know, like recently, I went to Hiroshima, I came to Akita, I went to Yamanashi. So if you have any video idea that I can film outside of Tokyo, please let me know in the comments. See you next time.